Peter Secchia loved his Spartans. He became good friends and even Lakeshore neighbors with basketball coach Tom Izzo. Sports director Jack Doles talked with Izzo about the loss this afternoon. Well, our guest is a very good friend of Peter Secchia's. And uh, I, Tom, it seems like everybody we talk to, Peter almost has a different legacy to them. What, what was his legacy for you at, at Michigan State? Oh, God, like you said, there's a million different ones, even within me. Uh, so, you know, he helped me as a father. He helped me as a investor. He helped me as, a, uh, you know, I, 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 to build a culture because I, I looked at what he did with his company um, as a friend. I mean, my summer home is all because of Peter. Um, but I said not many people can impact the country, you know, when he was ambassador a state because the state of Michigan a city I mean Grand Rapids he loved Michigan State but I think he might have loved Grand Rapids more than Michigan State you know Millennium Park all the things that went on there he was so excited about all those things and uh and of course he helped his beloved Spartans and and um, you know me and D'Antonio high on that list and uh so um just an icon I mean he, the guy was an icon he he was different I mean, he was, uh, he could rub you the wrong way at times, but his wife, J Joan, is a saint, and, uh, and I, I don't like Peter Secchio, I love Peter Secchio. What, uh, what was, what, what is the greatest thing uh, that you take away from him? What, what was the lesson that maybe he just bashed into your head, because he didn't do things gently? <laughs> no, 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 he did nothing gently, and that's, that is what I loved about him, but what he bashed in my head is just keep your mouth shut and keep working. You know, he just, uh, he, he wasn't a big guy with excuses. One of my favorite times, Jack, uh, him and I went to a Michigan State, um, Oregon football game a few years ago and we went on the trip and we got there a day early. So that Friday, him and I went and visited some of his first, uh, I don't know what you call them. They were little plants, some of them out in the middle of the woods, you know, uh, the, the, some of the wood where they knocked down the trees and cut them up. And we visited four or five of them. And he told me stories between each one as we rode around the state of Oregon. And we went from sunrise to sunset. And then for me, it was educational. It made me realize this guy started with nothing and who he became. And, um, you know, it was kind of the American dream. And I can't tell you how many times over my career, whether it be an MBA job or my own contracts here, um, uh, Peter was involved in, in most of my process and a lot of my decisions. How important is it for a school and a coach like yourself to have somebody like that who wraps himself in that community and gives and gives and gives? Well, you know, I, I think you could have answer your own question because you've been in that community a long time. And, you know, between him and the DeVos and Van Andels and the Myers, I mean, what they've done to that city has taught me a little bit about philanthropy. It's a word I couldn't even say when I was in the UP that Peter taught me. And, uh, you know, as I've kind of grown in my profession i've uh i've learned to give back myself and it's uh it's an incredible feeling and that was all taught to me by peter Secchia, all of it uh him and joan they not only gave their time you think of this guy he's a marine he's an ambassador you know he's he's a giant in his community he's a giant at michigan state um uh, he wasn't afraid to put his neck out there on the line and i remember one time he called me he had sold a company or something he had a little extra money for my program and i i said man mark hollis is looking for someone to be a lead sponsor on our new softball so we got the peter secchia softball facility you know he wasn't just one dimensional and uh you know, you look at the parks over there, the baseball diamonds, the, the medical schools, the things he's done. He hit a lot of different areas. And uh, I guess the only thing I'm I'm happy about is, uh, you know, it was getting a little tough for Peter. I saw him last Friday on the stretch. And um, to think that he's going to be with his, his boy, Mr. DeBoss, up there looking down on us. Uh, he had so much respect and love and admiration for him that... Uh, Boy, there's two incredible Grand Rapinites up there in heaven looking down right now. Tom, thank you so much. Jack Doles earlier with Coach Izzo.